By tomorrow morning, rain showers and a few storms will be over the area. Yes, we'll be tracking some thunder in the morning, all thanks to this warm front getting a little closer to us, providing just enough of a lift or a little boost to get some heftier showers. Or like I mentioned, a couple thunderstorms going. Not much happening on exact track radar yet, but uh, give it a couple more hours and we should start to see that radar really start to fill in. We turn to future track for kind of a large scale view. You'll see this warm front really stays to our south, so we don't get all of the warm air, but this weather system approaches enough to get the rain showers going and there's those little pockets of heavier rain and storms. A lot of that's going to take place right near if not north of the state line. So our Wisconsin friends, you're looking at some heavier showers while south of the state line more in the way of lighter rainfall. This really just kind of keeps going throughout the course of the morning. You can see the heavier rain moves out, but we'll have steady light rainfall at times to the end of the morning and into the afternoon before we see dry conditions going into tomorrow night. So this Zooming in, getting more of a local view on future track. You can see after midnight, about 1.30 in the morning, there's a little spotty thunderstorm starting to blossom, and we'll continue to have those, uh, again, advance closer to the north over the course of those early morning hours. I think a lot of that heavy rain is going to be out by the time we get to sunrise. So the morning commute, watch out for some wet roads, but you're not looking at a lot of those downpours lingering around much. Over the course of the rest of the morning, then spotty light rainfall, especially as you head northward to get south of US 20. You can see here on future track just not getting a ton of rain. They get a brief break heading into the lunchtime hours of tomorrow, and then we've got more activity filling back in late in the day. So kind of a wet start to the day, slight break in the middle of the day, and then some showers returning or filling back in later on. You can see on future track that by about 233 in the afternoon, steady light rain spread across our backyard that's going to continue well into tomorrow evening. We're finally dry by the time we get to tomorrow night. Temperature wise near average mid 50s coming with all of the rainy conditions not too blustery. So plan on a cool and rainy day ahead for the middle of the week. After that it's all the sunshine back in the forecast clear through the middle of next week. But look at those temperatures dropping down to the 40s at times right at the end of the work week and on Veterans Day. We rebound next week though in your most accurate 10 day forecast the weather does get back into the 60s long term. So after dropping down, we go right back up again within the span of about 10 days. In the 4 degree guarantee, just off the bullseye today, but that's still a good result. 39 the cash total, hoping to get close to 50 tomorrow. That's